Sandeep, welcome. Thank you for taking time out uh, to visit Sri Balaji Society. Uh, what are your first impressions of Sri Balaji Society as an institution? Well, I have the opportunity of meeting the founder, the creator, and I think when you meet with the person whose thoughts and ideas is what is impregnated, you know that he is inculcating in the students a desire to be happy, to be successful. Uh, so my first impression is, here is a place which is uh, educating students to be ready for the real world. Yes, there, are, there is sports work, there is exposure to leadership, exposure to business work, but the core idea of be happy, be contributing to the society and be successful is what I feel. So that's my impression that here is an institute which is producing uh, or helping students achieve those goals in life. That's fantastic. Thank you for the response. What are the top two or three skills that you look for when you recruit a fresh mentored MBA graduate? And what are you looking for? So, uh, that's a very interesting question uh, because it's a combination of things that I've seen. Uh, a couple of things that are important for us in today's world is that every uh, person that would be work in working in our organization, in a business advisory, business consulting capacity, has to be able to relate to the person on the other side. In today's world, it's not that you give a solution and it's going to get accepted. There are gives and takes, and to be able to have those kind of negotiations, the person has to be able to relate. So, a social skill is more of being able to interact, being able to relate, being personable, being able to negotiate. That's that's one thing. The second thing is, uh, now, for our business at least, uh, which is uh, business consulting, uh, SI, uh, it is important that the person, our consultants, our advisor, uh, are aware and knowledgeable of the business trends, the industry challenges, what are the kind of things that's happening in a certain company. So, what I desire in a uh, student that I'm looking to hire is someone who's aware of these things. He's not just coming in and saying, oh, okay, I know the, what the three P's or four P's of Philip Kotler as to what is marketing. Yeah. I want him to understand in today's time what is the change that industry is going through, what are the problems in the sector, what is the specific challenges that a company uh, is looking for, and what kind of a transformation can help those companies achieve. So those are two core skills that I look at, so soft skill as well as business knowledge. Fantastic. Sandeep, you're looking at India as a major, major growth market right now, and you've also had an opportunity to see some students here, interact with some students. Uh, in terms of the youth of India, and then you've recruited five people, five students from our institute, what do you see, what's your story, what's your take on India as a growth market? to shape a career and then can India be also, you know, after you learn in India, can you also launch international So I think any student who starts working with the companies over here in this market will get to learn a lot as he will be a part of the transformation journeys. And once they've learned this thing, this knowledge is applicable in any part of the world, definitely. In fact, I feel that since some of the things that are happening over here are not happening in other parts of the world, the experience and how uh, things were certainly managed is how certain uh, issues that they are having and not being able to do certain things, how did they find, find work around and all of that. That's going to give them the ability to manage change, which is what uh, is happening with both businesses all over the world. So absolutely, they definitely can learn a lot. They should, in fact. This is a great opportunity to see things getting transformed. So see companies not just being you know, uh, very stable and now introducing the street products, but growing so that they give competition to companies which are, by the way, coming into India from all directions. So, absolutely, they can learn from here, they have a great experience, and they can learn it there to solve the business problems of companies globally. And I don't want to say that just going out is the only way. In, within our country itself, there are so many challenges. Yeah that they should be prepared to meet first. Fantastic. And one last uh, question. The new batch of students are going to join on the 8th of June. What is your message? Now you've seen the campus, the infrastructure, you've met some directors, you've seen some students. What is your message for a new guy who lands up in Sri Balaji Society? How, we, how should he look at Sri Balaji Society and what, what, is, what should be his attitude and what should he prepare for? <coughs> 
ಸಾರಿಗೆ ಅದಾದರೂ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಟು ಬೀಚ್ ಬೀಚಸ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ Uh, and last but not the least reach out to the 11 army and, and start making connection with them because networking is one big thing so while he is learning in this area of interest he should reach out to some of the alumni learn from them and maybe start uh, using that as a network to find a future job fantastic thank you very much absolutely thank you very much